come together on the steps of Blue Cross Blue Shield to stand together to fight the cruelties and injustices forced on us by the private insurance companies. It is cruel to allow 33,000 deaths every year or one death every 16 minutes just because 33 million Americans still don't have private, still don't have health insurance. It is cruel to force 600,000 Americans every year into bankruptcy because they can't pay their medical bills. It is cruel to watch our patients agonize over whether to pay their electric bills or their medical bills. This has to stop. Private insurance isn't part of the problem. Private insurance is the problem. Private insurance puts profits before people. How is it that the CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois, Patricia Hemingway Hall, received $16 million in compensation? in 2012 alone, and then another $14.9 million bonus. <laughs> Private insurance spends 19 cents of every dollar on overhead and profit, and only 81 cents on the dollar on health care. It's time insurance companies spend zero cents of every dollar on profit and only two cents of every dollar on administration. That, by the way, is called single payer national health insurance. Or improved and expanded Medicare for all. That, by the way, is what every other civilized country in the world does. It's time we realize that private insurance has no role in America's healthcare system. It's time we say no to for-profit private insurance and yes to Medicare for all. Nobody out! Nobody out! Everybody in! Nobody out! Nobody in! Nobody out! Everybody in! Nobody out! Everybody in! Nobody out! Our next speaker is Martha Cool, Secretary Treasurer of National Nurses United. Yeah. Well, I've just been introduced, so I'll tell you a little bit more. I'm a registered nurse, and I take care of children with cancer and other serious diseases. I want to concentrate solely on providing those kids the best possible care. I want their parents to be able to concentrate on them 100% too. And without having to constantly worry about how to pay for their care, parents worry about co-pays, deductibles, co-insurance, out-of-pocket expenses, and all the bills that add up when you have a sick child. Many will agree with me that all children deserve health care. But how can children, but how can children get health care if their parents don't have it? How can parents provide that care for their kids if they don't have health care? Nurses all over the country face these dilemmas daily in our jobs. Nurses want to be able to provide a single standard of care to all our patients. And patients, we're tired of caring for patients who are denied care who come to us sicker than they should because they've been delayed care due to the cost of the care in our so-called current financing system. Patients with and without health insurance face these same dilemmas. 
At our jobs, we see patients and families who experience unnecessary suffering due to the fact that health care is not considered a fundamental human right. All of us need health care. All of us are fighting these increasing costs. All of us are facing these so-called denied rights. These, not so-called, but denials of rights in our health care system. As a society, we've already made the decision to fund many essential social services via go the government. We fund firefighters, libraries, and even the roads we drive on. Certainly, we all deserve health care. Still, and there are still there are those who really try to scare people that government funding is bad. Do not confuse our, our multiple private insurers with health care. They are not health care. They are in the business for profit. A Medicare for All program will provide, will provide all of us with the care that we need. This, it would save so many health care dollars has been pointed out. And unlike our current job-based or, pri or having to mandated to purchase private insurance as a commodity, Medicare allows us all to see the doctors and nurse practitioners and other providers and choose our hospitals based on the care that we need and that is prescribed and not on a narrow network. <laughs> Medicare for all will truly guarantee health care coverage for all of us. Medicare is our success story. We love success stories in America. Medicare will level the playing field. We love level playing fields. Join with us get involved in the movement, and demand health care as a human right. Next on our list of speakers is Tom Conway, Vice President of United Steelworkers Union. Thank you, Doctor. And thank all of you for coming out here. This is really an important kind of a coalition. And to see healthcare professionals out on the street with the labor movement, with healthcare activists, building the kind of coalition it's gonna take to make this change, we just have to keep doing it and growing it. We have, we don't have a broken delivery system in terms of who's taking care of us in doctor's offices and in hospitals and the nurses and the docs who are taking care of us. We have a broken payment system and this building is a testament to the kind of money that it rakes in and what it keeps for itself. And when you can keep 20 cents on a dollar profit and not deliver health care for it, that truly is blood money. And in every major city, when you go around this country, you'll find one of these buildings, whether it's Anthem, whether it's Highmark, but this cartel of the blues is out there sucking the life out of what we're doing, out of the middle class. It won't treat the poor, it won't pay doctors and nurses. I was married to a nurse for 38 years. I have two daughter-in-laws who are RNs. We never let a doctor in a family, but we like nurses. And so, and, 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 and we know that that money is not going into the hands of doctors and nurses. This is not an overpaid industry. This is where this money lies, and this is, to, to think that the people come out of school, carry the kind of debt they're carrying, step into the healthcare field and try and save lives and make things better for people, and then they have to be stymied with this every day and sit on the phone and fight with insurers and fight for treatment and recode your things. It's a nonsense system. We've got to change it. America has to change it. And here's your coalition that can do it. So thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. On my right, our next speaker is Dr. Naidis Bahamun, a resident in pediatrics at the University of Chicago. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm here for the same reasons you are all here today, because I recognize that our current health system is broken, and it's failing our patients and our communities. I first recognize the gravity of the situation as a medical student. I'm becoming a physician resident has done nothing but confirm my fears. People in this country are getting sick, are going into bankruptcy, and are dying from 
preventable and treatable conditions because our system of healthcare prioritizes profits over actually providing care. For example, take my four-year-old patient who loves frozen and stickers, who ended up in the hospital with a major viral illness that turned into a severe asthma exacerbation. She had no medications and was not up to date in her vaccines because her primary care doctor was suddenly not covered by her insurance plan and she was no longer able to see her. This is appalling. And that is not only an issue affecting my patients. This is also personal for me. My own family has struggled with securing access to care for years. My own mother, her birthday is today, who deals with chronic health conditions and pain, hasn't been able to see a doctor or get much, much needed operation. She continues to be underinsured even after the Affordability Care Act, and her approved providers keep changing as her insurance company sees fit. Imagine my frustration as a doctor. As a pediatrician in training, a family and a community member, I think it is obscene that our most vulnerable patients are being affected by the for-profit healthcare system in the US. Children's and adults' lives are being placed in danger because we fail to address the underlying problems in our healthcare system. The lack of a unified national, national program and the predatory for-profit nature of insurance companies, just like this one here. We need a system that can guarantee at a minimum basic health coverage and proper continuity of care. Our system is broken and we can't stand by silently. Allowing this to continue to happen will not be okay. Please join us in advocating for a single payer program. Everybody in, nobody out. say that our health care system is broken or it's too complicated to fix. There are those who want us to believe that our health care system is beyond repair. There are even those who would like us to believe that the solution to our health care crisis can be solved in a 1,200 page piece of legislation. Boo! The truth is that the solution is quite simple. The truth, in fact, is staring us right in the face. All we have to look, all we have to do is look at every other industrialized country in the world to see how simple the solution really is. We can even look within our own country for the answers to the big questions of how to provide lifetime quality affordable health care for 300 million Americans. The answer is to take a program that has now proven its success over 50 years in providing seniors with quality and affordable health care so they don't have to worry about losing their home and filing for medical bankruptcy. That program is called Medicare. Yeah. Medicare is an example of efficiency. Medicare runs at an overhead administrative cost of less than 3%. While the for-profit, inefficient private insurance industry easily spends six times that on profit and overhead. This is a clear example of how publicly funded, publicly funded government-run health insurance outperforms all of its private insurance competitors. We must take Medicare, we must take Medicare and expand it to all Americans so that all Americans can enjoy the same benefits as our seniors. By expanding Medicare to all Americans, we protect Medicare from those who would like to turn Medicare into a voucher program. We must come together to advocate for a healthcare system that is fair 
and just for all Americans, not just for a few who can afford it. Please join me in fighting for what is right and telling the truth about the evils of the for-profit private insurance industry, whose primary interest is in making a profit for their shareholders. We can democratize health care by democratizing our health insurance, and we do it by making health insurance public. Improved Medicare for all. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in. the beginning of our struggle. We must keep fighting. We will continue to fight until we get what is just and right. Thank you all for putting on your white coats, your scrubs, your, your stethoscopes and coming out here tonight. It means a tremendous amount to all of us here and I think we made an impression on Blue Cross and to the entire private insurance industry to see us here together. This is very powerful. Thank you.